computer. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Everybody started on you Zoom. Or not Zoom. But Podcast. you know what I'm saying. Podcast. Yep. So we never talked about who was going to start this. So I am oh. Nikki. I'm coming to you from <laughs> Berlin, Wisconsin, where I live with my husband, my grandmother, and my stepson and our dog, who might make, you know, appearance of once in a while because I'm downstairs yeah. on the wood floors. And when he walks, he makes noise. You can hear the click clack of Cooper coming. <laughs> Anyways, okay, um, I am Heather. I'm coming to you from Southern California. I keep wanting to say Central Wisconsin, and it's not me. Anyways. Well, maybe it's a sign. You're going to move here. No. no Come not. on. It'll be fun. They'll love all the snow be, we got last night. It would be It would be tons of fun. I wish I could be your neighbor because we would never get shit done, but Oh, excuse me. We, we would be always But together. your yarn stash would grow tremendously because you could just run over and be like, hey, I need this. And I'd be like, oh, go find it in whatever bend it's living in right now. Yeah, she's not good. Anyways, I live in Southern California with my husband, my three kids, and my mother. And we are coming to you today um, with an update episode. Um, we are not recording this on the 1st of January, but this will be published on the 1st of January, yep. 2022, golly, and <laughs> um, I feel so and, old now. I know, right? Um, well, it, you feel even older when, you're, when your kids tell you you were born in the 1900s. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. we have some things that are going to be changing in the new year. Uh, we have some things that are going to kind of stay the same. Um, so we're just going to run down the list of things. Um, bef- uh, I guess we should start at the top of the list. And the most obvious thing we did not say, yep. welcome to the Knickknack Nets podcast. Yep. Because we, we are know, no longer the Knickknack no Nets podcast. Knickknack Nets podcast. Um, Nikki and I had a conversation um, kind of the middle of 2021. Yes. That sounds so weird to say last year. I can't say last year. Um, I mean, it's it's still currently the year, but when you see this, it will be last year. Yep. Um, and we decided that um, I'm fidgety. Sorry. That's okay. We decided that we would, you know, going forward, we would kind of develop a brand um, that is the two of us together. Um, she has a business under Nick Nacknets that I am, I'm very proud of her and the success that she's had, but I'm not. And she does do collaborations with it. Yeah. With us. Yeah, I, I'm more than happy to do collaborations with her, um, okay. but I'm not a, in the, in the thick of things employee, I guess you can say of Nick Nacknets. So um so would you like to announce our new um moving forward podcast name will be got whips because if you know me and heather you know that i have a tremendous amount and so does heather she's learning i'm pretty sure but you know yeah we do we have got we have whips um so our new name yeah like she said our new name is got whips yep um it's we will always have whips. <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> Let's just put that on the table now. We will yeah. always have whips. We are trying to lessen our whip count. We're trying to make it not as overwhelming as it is currently and has been years past. Um, but well, let's face we... it. If I see something I want and I want to cast it on, I'm going to. It, that's just yeah. the type of person I am. Um, if that brings me joy at the moment, do it. Do what makes you happy. If you have the needles, the yarn, I said go for it. Right, exactly. And I have, like Nikki said, uh, I, not that I'm learning, but we are gathering our whips and pulling them out of every nook and cranny that we have them stuffed in, in our houses. Because before this episode, you'll see we did a, we haven't recorded yet, but we will publish before this episode a whip rundown 
with yeah, what we both have on our needles. Let's let, let's have fingers crossed that it's not going to take us longer than you know three hours. And if it does, we're sorry. And I hope you grabbed a really big drink and got some yeah. great knitting time done. Yeah, I don't know how long that one's going to be. We're going to record that tomorrow for us. It would have already been placed. published. So yeah. for you guys, um, so Got Whips is our new name. We will have a new email address and a new Instagram account, which uh, will be ha- will be in the oh, nice. description box of this video. Um, and we uh, we just we hope that you would go over and follow our new Instagram. On that page, uh, we will publish um, when the podcast is live. Uh, Make alongs um, will remind you of. Uh, sorry sirens uh we'll remind you of current cows that are ending you know if it's like the day before it ends we'll remind you there yep. um our zooms will be would be host or placed on that instagram so everything that you have normally gone to nick knack nick's instagram about it will be on our new instagram yeah and we'll have i'll still put the um we don't do show notes. Our show notes are underneath, always in the down bar on our YouTube channel. Um, and of course, any questions you guys have, you can leave a comment, you can email mm-hmm. us, you can ask us on Instagram. We both will be checking that Instagram. Um, mm-hmm. if, if it's specific to one of us and you just wanna talk to that one person, um, we always have our, our own Instagrams on there. Mm-hmm. But if you leave a message, and I see it and it's for Heather, I will let her know, hey, go on, there's a message for you. And yeah. Heather does the same for me. Um, yeah. We're, we're real workable that way. You guys moving on YouTube and on Ravelry group, it'll not, nothing you guys have to do if you already follow us. Um, the names, we are able to just change it right on the channel. So all the mm-hmm. subscribers should stay just where they are, I would think, as well as on Ravelry, I can just change the name. Heather can change the name because we're both moderators of the groups. So, and that you guys are still there. And if you're not already there, please feel free to join us. That's the only way to be in some of the cows that are winning just on Ravelry. So, um, and we like to hear from you guys. We like the questions. We like to see what you're working on. We're gonna start putting up chatter threads so that even if it's just where we're pulling off the FOs, post it over in the chatter so that people can comment and you know ask you questions about what you're making yeah do you have to look at the camera i'm sorry i don't know this new thing and i don't like it <laughs> sorry nikki has a new setup and <laughs> very new like very her camera new. and her screen are two different locations two. so yeah um yeah so one thing that i wanted to Oh, not just, que- sorry, I, I thought about this while you were talking about it. Um, not just questions. I mean, if you, you know, if you want to just pop in and say, hey, you know, anything is, we like the interaction from that we get from our YouTube comments. We like the interaction that we get from the Instagram um, messages. Um, we are really enjoying the Zooms. I wish we can do it more often. Um, and maybe that's something that come will come in the new year later on. But okay, name change, new answer, and new email. Next, so next we, we have, have. Sorry, go ahead. Um, next we have just some of the new cows. Mm-hmm. So, do you want to go first? Do you want to go? Um, sure. Okay. So. Okay. Our Sakatumi is pretty much going to stay, it's still going to be Sakatumi monthly drawing, um, but we decided this year to make it a whole pair for your entry. We've been doing it for four We're years. going on our fourth year, yep. So we've been doing it for three years where it was only a single sock needed for the entry. Um, so we decided to make it a whole pair and the double entry because we always want to give you guys a double entry option 
is if you use Area 51 yarn. We absolutely love Bella. She is so sweet and so kind. And she has given us a coupon code, which we told you guys in um, last episode or two episodes ago. Um, and that is Socket to Me 10. Yes. Yes. Um, um, all one word. And it, as far as right now, it has no expiry date. Um, but that is our coupon code from her. Um, so if you, I encourage you to use that coupon code and go get some of her yarn, and then you'll be able to do a double entry in our socket to me. Um, and she also has, which I feel like is a great thing to mention because I appreciate her for doing this. Um, she's also offering most of her yarn if not all of her yarn on 50 gram skeins now. So she really does, awesome. yeah, she'll do the, the 100 gram skein and then the 50 gram skein as well. Um, it's just like kind of little toggle down bar. You select which one you want. And um, she does have mini skeins available for heels, toes and cuffs, which would be a great, you know, 50 skein sock set with heel, toes, and cuffs, uh, mini skein. So, yeah. So we, if you use her yarn weave, you can enter, you can double enter. Yeah, so just post the same picture twice. Okay. Um, both Nikki and I really love her yarn. Yes, yes, she's a great person too. Mm -hmm. um, Next. And we'll put up, sorry, We'll put up hashtags for each month like we did last year with the socket to me for instagram users yeah. and if you are emailing us your entry that's fine um just in the subject bar put socket to me and then the month that it is yeah. so that we know um next is our featured designer for the year we are going to go ahead with melanie berg if you watched our live instagram you already knew this because Heather yes. let me have one little teaser for you guys that day on her that birthday. Was, that was the one thing that I let her slip. She wanted to let slip the big one, but I told her no. You had to wait. <laughs> um, yes, Melanie we'll Berg. The, you know, the name change, but you know. Yeah. yeah. So yes, Melanie Berg. Um, any of her patterns, she has lots of socks, hats, sweaters, and all kinds of shawls, and they're all the like wingspan of 100 inches or better. So yeah. I'm going to try to start one in January. And so my goal for myself that I didn't write down in goals, so I'll just mention it here, is to do at least two of her patterns this year. Okay. During featured. I think that's doable. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So. And again, like I said, we will come up with hashtags and they'll be down below. And that Cal, um, like last year, is going to be quarterly. Yep. So we'll draw that the price quarterly. Um, feature designer. Saga to me will remain monthly, but feature designer will be quarterly. And our next Cal that we have is the Got Whips Challenge. Um, we don't have our numbers as of right now because like I said, we're report recording that episode tomorrow, but um, we are going to, Nikki and I are going to count up our whips. Um, we are going to, <laughs> uh, why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> we are going to count up our whips. We're gonna put it in the first two posts of that thread and or probably maybe even the first post of that thread um and as the year goes on we're going to update it and let you know how our whips are diminishing or growing, growing. god forbid that happens um but like just like we're doing we encourage you to count your whips post in a We'll have a thread up, post and thread. You don't have to post pictures, just post. I have X amount of whips. Yep. And as the year goes on, this will be a quarterly, um, quarterly thing too. Um, <clears throat> as the year goes on, um, 
go in that thread and mention on February 17th, I finished this one. And you can show um, it in that post. And yeah. we'll, have, we'll have a second thread for all your finished so mm -hmm. that we can draw from finished and that way they can talk to each other. Right, so we'll have one post, one thread that has the posts and how many you have, mm -hmm. and that will be a chatter thread. And then we'll have another thread that has the um, FOs. So like I said, if you finish something on February 17th, post in that thread, let everybody know I finished this, but also post in the um, FO thread that you did in fact finish it with your picture. Yep. And then <clears throat> the last cal we have is just gonna be a quarter, uh, quarterly one and it'll be gone and it is, um, you can't have it, it's for me. Just so the first, say, yep. not quarterly, just the first Sorry, quarter. Sorry, just the first quarter, that's what I meant to say, but it's a selfish knit along. So when everybody asks, can I have that? The answer is no, that's no. for me. Mm. And this one um, is fun. I mean, one of my original goals, like I told you guys last episode was to do more knitting for myself or at least start out that way. And if I don't like it when it's done, I can give it to somebody else if I choose to. Right. But the goal is to, it starts January 1st and ends March 31st. And I feel like we were, we were talking about starting it December 30, no, December, <laughs> December 26th, because that's, you know, the day after Christmas. Um, but I feel like people could still be working on Christmas gifts up until the first of the year. Yeah. Um, you know, I have a couple of Christmas gifts that I didn't, finish that I need to finish up quickly and that's kind of like my goal for the next week is to finish up those things um but I feel like on January 1st if you were gonna finish it and you didn't it could be next year's Christmas present like at that point you know I mean come on like we're not going to continue to work on Christmas presents in January um well no, I mean not. unless it is unless <laughs> it is for a baby and they're gonna grow yeah. so then you have to yeah, but I mean, like, there's things that I intended to be Christmas presents and didn't finish, and I still have them on the meals because after after January first, it was like I'm not going to continue to work on this Christmas present. Yeah. Um. So January first to March thirty first, and we will have again two threads. Are we just doing one thread for that? I don't remember. We'll have two threads. I'm going to try to have two threads so that way people can chatter because there's a lot of times I see people's um, items that are done. There's no chatter. So I can't really comment. All I can do is hit the love button or like button mm -hmm. and agree, you know, that kind of thing. So that way, if you enter it over on the other, at least we can comment to you or ask you the pattern if you don't have a project page yeah. because we don't. One of us always makes project page. One of us never does. So I understand I mean, that not everybody makes them. And you know who the, who who's who in that scenario. Right now. <laughs> um, okay, so those are our cows. Um, they will be listed down below in all of the things that we said in case you missed it. Um, and again, they will be all up on Ravelry. Um, so along with their hashtags. So don't worry about if you missed one, you have to write down the details. Uh, <laughs> all the details will be there. I can, um, can I go over one more thing quick? Sure. For Zoom, <laughs> for Zoom, I didn't talk to you about this before. We had talked about it a couple of weeks ago when we were going through our January stuff, but um, the Zoom is always going to be the third Saturday of every month, which I think Heather mentioned, you know, but for the, I wrote down the dates for January. It's the 15th for February and March, it's the 19th. And our Zooms are always uh, 4 p.m. Central Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Time, and 5 p.m. Eastern on Saturdays. There is no telling how long we'll be in there. Wait, what? Say that again. 4 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific Time, your time, and 5 p.m. Eastern Time for Ohio, wow. East Coast friends, mm -hmm. New Jersey. Uh, Pennsylvania. I thought it was 2 p.m. Pacific. You're two hours behind me, right? I'm two yeah. hours behind you. Yeah, so it should be 2 p.m. Yeah, 2 p.m. 
2 p.m. Sorry. Pacific, yep. 4 p.m. Central. Central. And, and 5, 5 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. 3 p.m. for mountain time if we're. Yeah, mountain time is 3 mountain. So. I just remember my time and thought, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you sorry guys too. sorry i didn't mean to confuse i didn't mean to confuse you guys i confuse myself with my own time zone okay um yeah that's all i have for that part now all i have is goals me too goals for 2022 i don't like how that's how you say that 2022 i just I'm having a problem because I can still remember like when the song came out in 1999. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's forever away. Like I'm never going to be that old. And here we are in 2022. Uh -huh. And I'm like, okay, I'm like as old as dinosaurs. Like what I used to tell my grandma. I'm going to have an 18 year old this year. Yeah, no, thanks. I'm fine. So shut the hell up. <laughs> Uh, so who wants to go first on their goals i only have four you have like 10 basically i'm gonna okay i'll go first go for it so my goals <sighs> i'm saying this all around something that has to be true um my first goal is that I want to knit a pair of socks a month from my Area 51 stash. Um, as you know, I've been participating in the Gilmore Girls Club um, this past year. So I have all of that yarn. Well, I have 11 of the 12 months currently um, saved up. So I'm going to knit each month. I'm going to knit a pair of socks from that starting with how she released them in 2021. So I'll start with January and go through. Okay. Um, and then <laughs> with the <laughs> leftover yarn, because I always have leftover yarn when I do a pair of socks for myself. I mean, even when I do a pair of socks for Hector, I have extra yarn. Um, yeah. I'm going to make one mini sock, which is just like the, you know what a mini sock is? It's kind of like an ornament. Um, but I'm going to use the bookmark for Dobby pattern by KF Jones. Oh, okay. So one mini sock, one barn raising square, one and one miter square for my cozy memory blanket from that yarn. Um, so I'll have essentially four items a month finished with that yarn. Nice. Next is I want to finish at least one outstanding whip a month. Um, so the whips, like I said, we're going to go over. Uh, I'm going to put all of my whips on a wheel. The first of the month, I'm going to spin my wheel. And that's the whip I'm going to be working on for the duration of the month until it's finished. If I finish a pair, of, like let's say it's a pair of socks and I'm already working on the second pair or the second sock, I can spin again and get something else, you know? Gotcha. Um, and then my last goal that's kind of been a goal for a long time, I would like to do, learn how to do beaded crochet. Um, nice. so it's, uh, beads, seed beads are threaded onto crochet cotton thread and you crochet with the beads. Um, you can make Christmas ornaments, you can make little coin purses um i've seen lots of things made with that but i feel like i've been crocheting for more than half my life <laughs> um and i need to not really bump up my skills but that's the next thing that i want to learn how to do and get my attention right and all that stuff nice so i received some money from Chris for Christmas um, that I'm going to purchase some seed beads. I have the crochet cotton. I have a bin under my bed full of crochet cotton. I don't need any more of that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna. So I like the cotton 
webbing like the size thread, like number 10, are you talking mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. I don't have any right now, but I have some under my bed. Yes. Yeah, I use the um, Aunt Linda's thread. And when I worked at Joanne's 13 years ago, right. um, I would buy it whenever I saw a color that I thought was pretty. And I used to use it when I had my first Etsy store. I had, I did crochet items um, and I would make uh, bookmarks out of it. Oh, okay. Um, and I sold, I sold bookmarks made out of the crochet cotton. Um, and now people use digital books. So people don't usually buy bookmarks, but um, yeah, that's, that's what I mainly use it for. And that's, I love making bookmarks. They're fun. See, and I bought all kinds of it for making doilies. Cause the only reason why I learned how to crochet and knit is cause I wanted the doilies and yet I've never ever made one. I have, I have successfully completed one doily. Um, I have started many, but I successfully completed one. And I think that'll be think next doilies, year's goal. Not this I year's. These are fun. I mean, I can, <clears throat> I can help you if you want to do a doily. I think they're fun. I love them. I don't know why, but I do. I feel like for me, it's more of like a nostalgia thing. Like my grandma used to have doilies everywhere in her house. I mean, she, this is the South, so doilies were everywhere. Uh, <laughs> she had doilies. And then, so I found the doily the other day and my mom was like, I remember when granny used to make crochet doilies and then make bowls out of them so like she would like turn oh, wow. up the edges. put them over like, like she, a balloon yeah so like she would like turn over the edges and like starch it and like if somebody was coming over for dinner or whatever she would do that and then set out like use it for like a little candy dish or like a little you know my neighbor decor. my grandma's neighbor did that yeah so all of this I get from my grandma <laughs> <laughs> my my grandma would I mean yeah my grandma was making making oh. clothes for all seven of her kids so oh wow yeah um so the whole reason I think the doily thing was is my neighbor my grandma's neighbor used to do it who I used to call her grandma Jean mm -hmm. and then Mrs. John was on the other side that I'd get doilies from and I put them under all my porcelain dolls which back then I had 46 porcelain dolls so I had 46 little ones all over my two dressers just to set them on so Nikki and her porcelain dolls um so yeah that's my goals I will update you as I go along sounds good or as they change or as they change yeah I might add answer. more or something yeah um yeah like Heather told you, I have many. Most of mine are monthly. So I'll start with those. I'm going to do a, I'm reading down. That's why I'm looking down. A monthly sock. And then um, with the monthly sock, if it's a gift for somebody, like I know that the socks aren't going to be for me. Mm -hmm. um, whether they be too, not my color, or I don't like the texture of the yarn when I start working with it. I would like to make a matching ornament. This ornament I got from Dawn from Phil Frivolous and Frugal for Christmas. And all it is is 35 rows of stockinette knitting to cover this. Hmm. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And these are the three inch balls, she said. So that I can give them the socks and the ornament. Um, then a hat, a cowl, mittens each month. Um, I've learned this year that I do like mittens, like fingerless mitts. And then um, hats I love all of a sudden where I used to hate them. So I think um, is we're going to put up a couple bundles just for quick one skein wonder projects or hats, you know, that I'm doing. That way, if you want to go see them, you can just click on the bundles on our page and get to them fast. We might do that with for Melanie Berg, just so you guys can go see some of her patterns, a quick link. Mm -hmm. um, my other two is I still have my Celtic locks, uh, Celtic quilt, lock, knitted block. 
and the, um, so that's a monthly block. So I need to get that done. And then mm -hmm. I'm starting the building blocks this month on the sixth with um, Cam from around the table. That is her um, Afghan of the year. So on Thursdays from seven central, eight Eastern, she'll have a Zoom with that from around the table. And then- okay, Hold on, sorry. <clears throat> One okay. second. What is the building blocks? I thought that was the shawl from Stephen West. That is another building blocks. This is the building blocks Afghan. And so there's a book on Ravelry. You can get it a digital copy for 1995. And it's 12 squares that are out of uh, worsted iron weight yarn. Mm -hmm. And it's on, knit on a size 10. And each month you just do one. And so at the end of the year, you'll have 12, 12 blocks to put together to make an afghan. Hmm. And I mean, on a size 10, I'm going to imagine they're probably like a 12 by 12 or a 13 by 13 when they're finished. So I was. This is Yeah. So it's 12 hmm. different ones and it, it goes from easy and mm -hmm. then keeps getting harder as you go each month. Hmm. I'm gonna have to my main, uh, one of my main goals was to try to master corner to corner. I can crochet some I, with two friends holding my hand through it all. Um, I'm not real good with crocheting terms or understanding my eye, sorry, um, understanding what they mean. Sometimes it's wor more wordy, I guess, than a knitting pattern. And I'm, I overthink it a lot. Heather can attest she to that. Who do you think she is? <laughs> and then um, a new goal that I just wrote down was with our got whips, I would like to have half of my whips that are on my needles off by the end of the year. I think that's oh. doable. Yeah. Not including the new ones that I put on, just out of the old ones. So mm -hmm. I think I think I can do that um, kind of yeah, relatively. I, so. I don't want to include my Afghans in that, our blankets, because those are long term. I know they're not going to be one, two, three. Like my Battenberg, my Miter uh, Cozy. What is that? Is that cozy up miter corner, whatever you want to call it? That's not oh, a no. quick one. Cozy memories. Cozy memories. My bits and bobs is not a quick one by any stretch because I times it times three <laughs> for the pattern almost. <laughs> um, yeah, and I have two Stephen West blankets on the needles, so we all know that those are not not fast at all. You have two Stephen West blankets on the needles. Yeah, the one I've had hidden from everybody for like half of the year. Yeah. He trade. Thank you. Sorry, grandma's right here. She wound one of my skeins into a ball that was half gone. Wave, grandma. Grandma, say hi to everybody in the world. No. <laughs> like, no. No. Uh, um, I don't want to be on camera. Yeah. What is the other one? This is not the whips episode, but I'm curious. What is what other one? The other Steven. Blanket. Oh. <laughs> the slip extravaganza blanket that came out right after the MCAL last year. See what she does. It's so bad that even the pattern was not even purchased under me. That's how much I hid it from everybody. What? I don't understand you. Anyways, so that is what we are doing. That is our changes coming for the new year. Um, we hope you're ex as excited as we are. Um, we've been, discuss like I said, we've been discussing this and brewing this for Happy about year. six months um kind of revisiting it and having little conversations and i know that i know i failed with uh what is it called vlogmas on instagram but every time i would hint at you guys that we're having a podcast meeting this is generally what we're talking about 
Um, and I hope yeah, there's a lot of planning that went into this and a lot of names that we went through. Um, mm -hmm. And I didn't want to make the podcast about me and my business with Lisa because it's not fair to Heather. It's not fair to me because, you know, you get it in your head then that, that it's, I have to do everything for it and it's not the case. Heather is more than willing to help me, but because everything was tied together, I felt like I couldn't make her or ask her to do things. So this makes it easier in my mind to help, to have the help that she's been offering the whole time. And I was like, no, I got it. You got three kids. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but my kids are gone all day. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, things will come up and it's nothing, you know, nothing, nothing that any of our viewers have done or nothing that anybody has done, but things, I mean, when you're running a podcast and a business and everything else, things are inevitably going to come up that would be, you know, stressful to Nikki. And she would text me and say, you know, help when she's at like her breaking point. And I told her so many times, like, let me know before then, most of the time from eight to two, I'm just hanging out knitting, watching TV, you know, I mean, I might, you know, I clean my house and I do other things, but, um, I'm just, I'm here and I am able to help her when she needs help. And that was, I don't want to say that was the reason for the name change. That wasn't the reason it was just, it was time for us to establish something that was us together. And she has established something that is her and Lisa. And I can I have not established something that's me. Anyways, but you know what I'm saying? You, and but sometimes just, when we go to shows, people do expect to see Heather there. Yeah. Because of the podcast. Under the Nick Nett's name. And people have thought that I was contributing to the bag business in some way. And I'm not. I mean, I like Nick said, we do collabs. We do. And we're going to continue to do that. Because I will always support her. I will support her in everything that she does because she's my friend. And I, likewise but, for me and Heather, I will always support Heather. I will always beg her to go back to making some stars once in a while. Always. Always. Um, Eventually I'll wear her down, people. I just need a little bit more help from you guys. No, no more help. <laughs> no more help. I showed but, a whole bunch of people those the other day on Zoom, so you know. Oh, and Jesus. I told them your personal Instagram. I told them to bombard you. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I just, I will always support her. I will always support Lisa because they're my friends. And I, I, I mean, regardless if they're my friends or not, I believe that they are, are doing, that they have a great business. They're, they have great quality bags. They, Lisa's doing beautiful yarn. Um, so I, I was never offended to be part of the Nick Nick Nick's name, but she's now still part of the family. She's still going to yeah. be part of who I go to when I'm trying to pick out a certain bag, if I'm going to bring it into the shop or mm -hmm. what she thinks I could tweak on it because I'm at my wits end with not liking how I think it's turning out. There's, yeah. there's a set of like three, four people that me and Lisa turn to because sometimes we need that outsider's perspective because we just get bombarded. Yeah, um, when they're too too close to the project, they can't see little things that outside people can see. Right. So it, it's great to have such great friends and the friends I do have in this knitting community that do support me and do put up with my shenanigans at times. Um, Heather can tell you this year has been very rough. Mm -hmm. Very rough for both of us but I've took a lot of huge steps in the right direction this year for personal and I will hopefully continue to do so. Yeah. But Heather was with me every day, even when I was stuck in the hospital, she was still the first person that Lisa called her and Kim were the first two people that she called so that they would know right away. And they both made sure they were texting me and calling me and FaceTiming me while I was sitting in a hospital bed looking very rough. Looking beautiful as ever. <laughs> looking like a two-year-old got a hold of me and some makeup. 
yeah but i mean i just feel like over the past four years yeah five years four years four years four years jesus um the friendship that we've developed and the friendship that we've developed with kim and i we are you know that saying you family is not always blood it's yes you know i i consider nikki and kim and some other of our friends as more than just friends like we are always going to be surrounding each other and lifting each other up and encouraging each other so anyways we're waffling it happens (laughs) we're known for this now yeah so we just we hope that you're that you are excited as excited as we are about the changes that are coming in the year and just because these are the the list of cows that we have written down now doesn't mean that those are the only ones that we're going to do in the year excuse me um we do have friends that are podcasters we do have friends that we communicate with she remembers something i did that we need to mention before we stop this anyways we have friends that are podcasters we have friends that we communicate with all the time and we will be jumping on their bandwagons because we they are our friends and we want to support them as well right. and what did we forget speaking of the yearly goals and our friends that have um podcast and everything one of my monthly goals i don't know if you jumped on or not heather but um dude knits go check out his podcast he's got he just put up an episode of just like a 10 minute cal that he's doing for the new year um pick out 12 skeins of your yarn it's called lucky dip and oh, yeah. he just wanted you to pick out 12 skeins so you randomly pick out skeins of yarn and you wrap them up and you number them if you're Nikki, Lisa takes them. She wraps mm-hmm. them up and takes them to her house because if I open a skein I don't like that day, the color, I will just unwrap more until I find one I want. Mm-hmm. But anyways, you take any way to yarn, any, so if it's DK, bulky, fingering, whatever you want, mm-hmm. you unwrap it and you make a project that month out of it. Right. So and- he's going to put it up on Instagram every, the first of every month. Right. So you're going to draw a number. You put it in a bag, you number them one through 12. Correct. Then um, James, who is Dude Knits, will put up the number on Instagram. You take that bag that coordinates with the number that he chooses, open the bag, and knit from that yarn. So you're getting 12 skeins of your own yarn out of your stash. Right. Something else that he said that I thought was pretty cool, too, is like, let's say you have a a kit that's for, I don't know, like mini skeins for a cow or um, three skeins set aside for a specific shawl that you're gonna someday maybe get to, put that in the bag as well or put make that one of your 12 bags um, and you can put everything in it, needles, yarn, pattern in the bag. When you open it, that's when you cast on. So it's kind of like a, you know, we all have a bucket list of things that we want to cast on that we want to make that are, you know, someday maybes, but if there's something that you've had in your stash ready to kit up or kit it up already, then you just throw it in the bag and go for it. Right. So I also, I appreciated that point that he was adding to that. It doesn't just have to be single skeins for yarn and they don't just have to be socks. No. Nope. You can have. I wrapped up some DKs for you know, thinking about hats. I wrapped up a bulky skein, you know, too. So just things that I've accumulated in my stash, Mm -hmm. but I also went through all my self striping that Mm -hmm. was and wasn't area 51, but I wanted to get, so I have a problem with hoarding, I guess my self-striping Christmas year. And I'm like, no, I can't knit it. Cause I, you know, or I don't knit with this because I might not get it again. So it has to be the perfect time. Well, I took all of my Christmas yarn and put it in there. So if it was self-striping, if it was just, I had a lot of Arkansas yarn coat, I collected all her Grinch colorways for the last three years. 
So I wrap those up so that it forces me to finally use my, as I call it, my coveted yarn. Yeah. So. Another thing too is um, if you have a skein of yarn that looked great on the screen, but came to you and was maybe not her. What you expected. You know, jam, put that in the bag too, because okay. it, yarn in a skein is a lot different than yarn knitted up. Yeah. I know we all know that, but just because okay. it doesn't look like what you thought it was going to look like doesn't mean it's not going to knit up nice. And if you knit it up and you still don't like it, give it to someone else. Yep. Easy. So that is all we have for you. I'm not going to remember anything else. I will say sorry about the little mess behind my corner here. That is yarn that I'm entering on Ravelry. You can't see my mess. No. But that table and this table, like right over here behind the camera, is nothing but yarn that has to be entered in my stash. And that's just one container. I didn't tell her to do this. I said, what the hell? You did not. You did not tell me to do this. This was, people were talking about it. And then, you know, checking on insurances, you know, this is the way to be able to know what is covered and what's not covered for your insurance riders and all that. So I'm entering it and let me just tell you, it's gonna put a serious thought if I'm gonna be purchasing anytime soon. I'm even contemplating stopping my monthly mini clubs. Hmm. I mean, I only have one, but I'm thinking about stopping it before the collection is done. Which is really suck because I'm almost two years into it. And at four years I'd have all the colorways. So I'm I'll think about it. I don't think you should do that. I know. I think I'll regret it if I stop it. But. Me too. Anyways, we hope that you have an awesome new year. It sounds weird saying that now today, but we hope you have an awesome new year. We pray that you are prosperous in your knitting that <laughs> uh, you achieve all your knitting goals um and it's okay if you don't and it's okay if you don't they're not they're goals they're not you know things that are set in stone that you have to do that are you know if you cast something else on before you finish something that's okay it's okay it's your yarn it's your needles you worked hard for the money to buy those things yep you deserve to cast them on whatever you want. Yes, you do. There's no judgment. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, we hope that you have a great year. We hope that 2021 um, ended nice for you. Was well. Great. Well, yeah. Um, we will see you next one. All righty. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.